I'm Tom LeVay, Satan. And out of his mouth, you know, he's, oh, he's, he, well, he was the ruler of the church of Satan, right? Out of his mouth, he said, I want to thank every Christian parent for allowing their child to celebrate Halloween one time a year, the devil's holiday. And it took Adam and Eve to lose everything because of one mistake. Well, should Christians celebrate Halloween? Some believe it can be taken back like other holidays, but a former Satanist who is now a pastor says, no, Christians should not celebrate it. I recently caught it with John Ramirez and he had a strong warning for believers. Tell us a little bit about where you were in relation to Satanism and worshiping the devil. Well, at 25 years, uh, eight years old, boy, little boy, eight years old, demon church, learned being trained by high ranked devil worship with warlock and spiritual witches, turning me to oh, know how to take over territory, demon, demonic contract, demon, different demon territory, demons, principalities, first, second heaven. I was being trained all the way to the age of 35, sold my soul to the devil, got married in Halloween, had a demonic wedding in Halloween. I baptized my daughter to the dark side at the age of 11. So that was my whole entire life. I mean, I, I breathed, ate, and slept witchcraft. Wow. Astro projecting, I will astro project over region, leave my body, astro project, curse the region, because if I can curse the region, I can capture the people. Knowing what you came from and what you used to do, you're pretty um, discouraged that you see Christians celebrating Halloween. Why? I, 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 I don't know how you can cheat on God. I don't know how you can cheat on the Lord Jesus Christ because I don't see Satan as coming on Good Friday and coming hanging out with us, right? You know, I got married on Halloween and had a demonic wedding. Why would you put your kids, your family, why would you put your purpose, your destiny, why would you put your whole eternity in a demonic altar? Why would you take something that is demonic and you want to slap the name of Jesus on it when Jesus ain't going to show up and bless your stuff? You know, and it, I mean, for me, if, if I was a pastor and I'm going to do a, a celebration on October 31st, I would do a play to show how the evil and the dark side of what Halloween is and how is it that you need to come to the, to the cross of Jesus Christ for your salvation. I got married in Halloween. I had a demonic wedding in Halloween. I, I mean, we talk about animal rituals. We talk about blood sacrifices. In Halloween, I had a demonic wedding because that is the devil's holiday. secondhand situation so that one of the reasons Halloween is it's it is you making soul ties you making legal you letting the devil own legal rights in your life you can even as a Christian you can say I'm a Christian and I love God but you're cheating on him on Halloween when you dress up for Halloween when you dress up for this demonic holiday you can dress as an angel you can dress as like a little mermaid you can dress as you know Casper the friendly ghost when you dress up you're giving the devil legal rights to change your identity Another demonic reason, Anton Levain was a person, he was the, he, he was the priest of the Church of Satan out in California, and, and he, he was a devil worshiper for many, many, many years. He had 8,000 people in his church when he started the I'm not going to call it church, his demonic building. And one of the quotes that he quoted, he said, I want to thank every Christian parent for allowing their children at least one time a year to celebrate my holiday. And this is coming from the devil's mouth. So another reason celebrating Halloween is such a, uh, I would say, I would say it's such an eternal mistake. It's because you not only cursing yourself and you opening your doors to devils, what is your meaning? That means not, the devil doesn't own you. If you marry and you're celebrating Halloween, the devil owns your marriage, he owns your children, he owns your house, he owns your finances. That means he owns real estate in your life because you have opened the door to the devil one time. He told Esau, one, one circumstance to lose his birthrights, yeah. right? So why would, you, why would you bring that kind of curse into your house and curse your family from three to four generations? Wow. So when your kid is five and you think it's cool, you dress them up, once you put a costume on someone, see, the, the, the trick of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, they were made in the image of God, they were made in God's perfect image, right? The devil tricked them with sin and changed their identity. Yeah. And once you put the costume on the kid, I don't care if you dress him up as Noah, I don't care if you dress him up as Abraham. Once you put this costume on Halloween, the, the birthright of Halloween, you're changing your kid's identity. The purpose and the destiny has been canceled unless you renounce it and bring it back. Wow. That is the trick of the devil. I don't see how Christians 
want to be part of darkness. I don't see, I mean, one of the, another reason, I, 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 it's like saying, I don't see Satanist people saying, hey, John, Good Friday's coming. Can I come to your church? Could I come celebrate Good Friday with you? Because, you know, the, I, that's the right thing to do. I I am, I am think that I should go there and celebrate the the, 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 the the finished work of the cross, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. I want to be part of that. I don't hear them, I don't hear Satanists, you know, packing our churches on Good Friday. I don't see that. So why well, why are we running and celebrating something that the Satanists are, are laughing at us? Another reason I see, I see, I don't know. I think that the, the whole key of, of Halloween is the demonic, the rituals, the celebration, uh, the, 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 the the music. Every when you go to club house party, or even even sometimes we take Halloween and we take we bring it into our churches. We dress people up as Noah. We dress people up as Abraham. But it, 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 is that really God? Is, is is that really in the Bible? I mean, I understand you say we celebrate harvests. Yeah, well, hoppers are so. I don't need pumpkins in my house. Pumpkins ain't gonna get me to heaven. And me putting pumpkins in my door and candles in my door, it's like me putting food in my door, but I don't want stray dogs to come to my door. When you put pumpkins in your door and you put you put candles and you put candles or you put these kind of, you dress up your house in Halloween, you call yourself a Christian, really? The reality of it, you telling the devil, you got legal rights over my house because I dressed it up, I made a contract with you, and now you're more than welcome to come into my house. That means you grieve the Holy Spirit, you grieve the things of God, you grieve your walk with God, and everything that God has for you, every blessing that God has for you, every opportunity God has for you, you just cancel your assignment. But I'm going to tell you from the devil, ex-devil worship for 25 years. You know, a lot of these candies that you, you give your kids and you buy in the stores in Halloween, they are pray for. These candies are pray for over the demonic people have prayed over these candies. They know what they're doing. Well, so it's just fun candy. Kids are having costumes on. But, what you but said it, is much more. It, 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 the candy, you know, I, 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 shared, I, I never shared this before, but this candy, people from different walks of life pray over these candies. Witchcraft, they pray over the candies. You knock on people's door, you don't know the person that you knock on door, she's a witch. Okay, you don't know she's a witch, she's doing Wicca, she's practicing New Age, and you knock on her door and you come in, in you come in, in in legal rights of this witch or this wall or this person's practicing this stuff, giving you this kind of candy. Now you're taking that stuff home, you put that stuff into your body. They pray over these costumes, they know what they're doing. I mean, I live in the city, my hand, right? And they, and they rent the store, right? Every year, they rent the store. You know how much the rent in that store costs for the month of, 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 of October for them to sell costumes? $30,000 a month. How is it they got this kind of money to rent a store to sell costumes? These costumes are prayed for, the demonic, and if you have opened the door to your children on this situation, on this demonic situation, circumstance, or celebration, or a holiday, they call it holiday, I call it demonic. If you have opened your door and you today, you see that your kid has waver. Your kids have left the things of the Lord. Your thing is no, your kids are no longer functioning in the in the Holy Spirit. You need to repent. You need to renounce. You need to cut the rope. You need to give the devil an eviction notice. I'm Tom Levine, said. Out of his mouth, you know he he used to he was he was the ruler of the Church of Satan, mm -hmm. right? Out of his mouth, he said, I want to thank every Christian parent for allowing their child to celebrate Halloween one time a year. The devil's holiday. And it took Adam and Eve to lose everything because of one mistake. So Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we destroy, we work of darkness, Father God, every bad decision that we have made. Father God, shed light in the hearts of parents and, and churches, Lord, today, in the name of Jesus Christ. We break every stronghold. We break every demonic bondage of Halloween, Father God. We said that we give the devil an eviction notice today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, right now, in the Jesus Christ, every household that is under the, my voice today, watching this video, it's not a coincidence. This is a divine appointment to cancel the devil and say yes to Jesus Christ over this demonic holiday. Lord Jesus Christ, set your people free. Open their hearts to see the demonic side of who Halloween is. And this is the devil's holiday. And we don't celebrate the devil. We celebrate Jesus Christ until he calls us home. In Jesus' name, amen.